Fox 40 News at 6 starts now. In the wake of the death of Stefan Clark, the Sacramento Police Department is announcing a new policy for officers involved in foot pursuits. Officers are now being asked to identify themselves as police to the suspects they're chasing, and they're also asked to activate their body cameras. This is the first new policy for the department since Clark was shot and killed in his grandparents' backyard back in March. Thanks for watching at 6 o'clock. I'm Ali Wolf. And I'm Eric Rucker. The two officers who shot Clark thought the teen had a gun when in fact he was just holding a cell phone. Here's more. When you talk with teenagers in South Sacramento's Meadowview neighborhood, the shooting death of 22 year old Stephon Clark at the hands of two Sacramento police officers is still very fresh on their minds. It was a very crazy tragedy. It shouldn't have happened. Damari Vaughn takes part in motivating other brothers, a summer program for young men, which focuses on alternatives to violence. He says a change in police policy has been needed in the city for a long time. As often, he feels officers are targeting him for just being black. Simple things, you might be out too late, you might get harassed. Monday, the Sacramento Police Department announced their decision to discourage officers from foot pursuits in risky situations. It's the first police policy issued since Clark's death in March. The policy says officers will now have to weigh their own safety and that of the public's before and during a pursuit. They're also now being asked to identify themselves as police to the suspects they're chasing and to activate their body cameras as soon as the chase starts. I don't believe that this is a moment for the community to celebrate. It's a moment community activist Barry Axius is the founder of Voice of the Youth, which operates the program Vaughn is in. He says the new policy doesn't address what consequences officers would face if they don't follow them. We want these officers, if they have done wrong, to be convicted. And he says this new policy took way too long, going into effect July 26, according to the department, about four months after Clark's death. It's almost putting another Band-Aid on cancer. And this is just a, a minute, it's not even a big step. We're not celebrating it at all because this is something that they should have done as soon as this whole chaotic situation happened. Meanwhile, Vaughn says if this new policy was in place the night Clark was shot and killed, he doubts if it would have saved Clark's life. Do you have a lot of faith in the police department when they say, hey, we're making policies to make things better? I mean, not really, because they made policies before and it's never changed anything. And you're taking a live look now at the Community Police Review Commission. They're meeting right now talking about that new policy. This is really a chance uh, for people to get in here and to give their opinion on the new policy and to hear why it might or may not help. Uh, but again, we're actually kind of surprised because there's not a lot of people in City Hall tonight at this meeting. So obviously not a lot of people from the community came out to, to voice their concerns about this here at the meeting. But we're going to have more uh, from Police Chief Han coming up on Fox 40 News at 10 o'clock tonight. Reporting live in, at City Hall tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. All right, Doug, thank you. After more than 40 years.